Okay, the problem now is how to get that piece of wood that was the old hammer shank on this is a re old replacement set. See, there is felt on here. How to get that out so I can get it onto this. So, my game plan is to de stress it by drilling a hole center. And then I'm going to see if I can't just take a pair of pliers and torque it out. Might work, might not. We shall see. I'm going to take and burn a hole using this one. So I can put a hole in it. Pretty good sized hole. With this, I could even start with a smaller hole if I wanted to. That might be smarter. This would be much smaller. By de-stressing the wood, okay, that's not grabbing. That tool is not compatible with this. I have to use this one. Now I want to make sure, of course, that I don't go into the wood of the hammer, but I'm only burning out, you know, this center part here, and lay that over a hole. And then here. Turn it on, I have my glasses on, and here we go. Okay, what the heck happened here? Yeah, the tool must have fallen out. problem is, is that this piece, this bit grabber here, did not quite grab this. Those Dremel tools, I might have better luck with a different one. This one I know is very weak too. It's very old. Just these diameters, they're too small. I'm going to have to use an actual drill bit, I guess. And grab it there. One might think that, oh, that'll fit. Big for a drill bit size. I might have to go down one. I can get this to stick in the hole. The smaller the hole, the better for me. Won't grab, same problem. It's not that we wanted to do it, that's how we're going to do it. I wanted a little smaller hole.
now. As this drills down, the part sticking out is still solid. That part there, the rest of it's weakened because it's drilled out. So I might get lucky. Be able to put this on here and twist it right up. Yeah, that worked. Kind of. I mean, it's not perfectly lined up, but pretty good. So, a lot of it came out. All of it. And now, I'm going to go get a dental tool and complete this by hand. This is very common for repairs where you just run into unexpected problems. See, I can just push the old wood out of the hole. I'm just breaking it up. So I'm still working to get, you know, all the wood from the old shaft out. There we go. That was a nice step forward as it collapsed on the inside in there. I can apply pressure. See, now it'll pop right out. There we go. Okay, but now I can see, does this thing fit? The answer is yes and no. Okay, we're going to go here. Got to find some sandpaper. That's a little bit rough at 120. Let's come in here. I like the look of this one. We fold it over so it's stiffer. Just a little bit more uniform fit. Now this will have to be sanded to be able to make proper Now I don't want to go too far because uh, it could be that this may be a little bit long for this hammer. Or why not? There we go. So you can see how quickly it comes down. Okay, we're going to take our tool with us. We have this here and here, and up we go. Now whether I, go ahead, I want a nice snug fit of the hammer, but I also want the ability to adjust the angle of the hammer a little bit back and forth, so I'm not against having a tiny amount of slop because the glue will pick that up. When we come here, and we're back to that. <laughs> 